What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to look at the Star Wars Republic gunship. Every so often I like to make these retirement videos. I'm trying to pump one out once a week because everyone kind of likes these videos and I hope it helps you in the future where if a set came out, you know, I really hope these videos might help you decide whether you want to purchase a set or not purchase a set. But today we're looking at the Republic gunship, specifically item number 75021. So this Republic gunship is a solid set. I absolutely love this set. I think it's the perfect size gunship and at the time it was reasonably priced. So let's take a deeper look at this. So we've got seven minifigs with this set, which is awesome. Four of them are unique and it's got a value right now of $224. It's got 1,175 pieces with a price per piece of 10 cents, which isn't too bad. So it came out August, 2013 and retired December, 2014. So the retail price on this was $119. Absolutely phenomenal. I like purchasing $120, $130 sets. I think I get the most money out of these kinds of sets as opposed to lower price sets. When you purchase lower price sets, there's just a lot more inventory. It's harder to earn money. But in this range, I would estimate, you know, if I, if I bought a $130 set, on average, I'd probably guess anywhere from a $40 to $80 profit. But now this retired in 2014. So this was a different time back then. Pretty much all Lego sets did really, really well back in the time, back in the day. You know, we are long gone from that. Any Lego set that comes out now going forward is probably going to be, a, you know, anywhere from a 20 to maybe $50 profit if you're lucky. But on average, I'd say a $20 profit. You need to buy a lot more sets and move a lot more sets to earn a decent profit compared to the olden days. And this set has a value of $589. It's got a growth of 390.92%. This was an absolute grand slam if you purchased this ship. So I'd love to hear if you purchased this ship back in the day. You know, are you holding on to them, hoping you're going to get more money, or did you sell them? Personally, if I had this ship, I would try and liquidate these as fast as possible. You know, I don't really think this ship will go up in price anymore. It might go up a few bucks, but we're bound to get more Republic gunships. In my opinion, the Republic gunship is a bread and butter set where we're going to keep getting them, you know, every couple of years, and it will just ultimately hurt this set overall. So now what is strong with this set is that it has seven minifigures, and again, price a value of $224 and four of them are unique so that's a solid amount I mean they're absolutely phenomenal pretty much the clone trooper captain is $70 and Padme is $44 and really all of them are doing phenomenal except for the super battle droid which it's sad to see the super battle droid being sold for five bucks but it is included in 13 cents so they're this set you know this minifigure is out there it's not really rare and that's just kind of the downfall of Lego investing. Lego likes to do this and it's unknown what set, you know, what minifigures they'll include in sets in the future. And really there's a big risk that you could get these minifigures in other sets in the future. There's always that possibility. There's no, there's nothing prevent Lego from doing that. Except, you know, maybe a licensing issue, which if you knew that information, that, that is just gold. But you'll, you'll never find that out. So now back in the day, would I have invested in this set? Yeah, I probably would have. Simply for the price alone, 120 is a solid price. It comes with a great amount of minifigures. It's a gunship. Everyone loves it. I probably would have bought anywhere from 10 to maybe 30 of these. And I'll, I will be the first to say, you know, if it hit $300, I would have began selling mine immediately. I don't like to take sets into long hold retirement times, you know, hoping that they're going to creep up. It's just too risky. We're bound to get more sets and it's just, yeah, I would try to take those, you know, a solid 100% profit, you know, maybe a little more. I'm happy with that. That's the goal when Lego investing. If you can double your money, that is solid. So now let's take a look at the previous Republic gunships that have been out. So the 2000, 2003 version, which is a tiny one, which is... It's pretty cute. It's got a retail price of $6.99, got a value of $32. The 2002 version has a, a retail price of $89, which is phenomenal and similar, you know, a little bit smaller, and it's got a value of $999. 
And then we've got our version, and then, you know, Micro Fighter, which is absolutely phenomenal. Retail for 10, got a value of 40. And then the 2009 version, retail for 5, and it's got a value of 35. So all of the gunships have done well. That is a great sign that reinforces my opinions on the gunships, that they're very popular, they'll consistently go up in price. And you should be aware that we do have a gunship out right now. It is out of stock. This is the UCS version, which if you picked it up on sale, I believe it was months ago, you know, 280. I passed on it. I should have bought it because I, I don't like investing in UCS versions that much money. But if you picked it up for 280, you you made money. And I really wish I had the spare money to buy it. But the risk with this set, no doubt in my mind, is that they will remake them in the future. Typically, you see a smaller set come out than a UCS version, and then I wouldn't be surprised if we might see, you know, anywhere from a $40 to $80 priced gunship come out. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just came out with a $140 one. It's bound to happen. You know, this is a army building set. Army building is big money. People love to build massive armies, especially with a ton of gunships. So these will sell no matter what. So really quick, let's take a look at how it's doing on eBay right now. So eBay, you know, let's see, we're doing, I'm, I'm not sure why these sold for 80. There's gotta, it's, these gotta be without the minifigs or something. Uh, let's see, this one sold for 400 and then we've got 880 here. Well, this one isn't ours. Um, let's see, 689, 535. So really phenomenal. Padme doing $60. So Brick Economy is, is pretty, I want to say pretty spot on with their pricing. And then on Amazon, it's doing, let's see, 757. So as always, sets on selling on Amazon sell for a premium. So this is where I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If if this if they came out with a Republic gunship, let's say a hundred and sixty dollar gunship, similar to this size, where it's got you know roughly a thousand pieces, and Lego is greedy, so that they won't price it in the 120, 130 range. They'll probably do 160. Would you purchase that set? Now for me, I you know I think it is risky. And it all depends on the price and minifigures. If we just get basic minifigures, I'm, you know, I might buy one or two. But if it came with a decent amount of minifigures, I'd probably buy five. This is not a set I would go hard on. You know, it's very, you know, if, if it came out in that price range, it would be very expensive. But I know we're going to get some in the future. And it's just too risky of an investment for me. But overall, I would buy some just in case they did go up. But this is not a set that I would go hard on. So comment your thoughts and opinions down below. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. But as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.